I mean, this is, you know, it's one of the hardest things to do in, you know, college, you know, and winning, really. You know, just to be consistent and win day in and day out, uh, you know, the whole season long, especially in the league that we play in. Um, you know, it's it's impressive, and, you know, I'm proud of the guys. You know, we, we've worked really hard for this. Um, you know, we put, we're working 11 months a year, and, um, you know, so just to see – you know all the hard work that we put in all season, and just to be consistent like that, it's 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 impressive. Like I said, but you know this is just the first of many, and you know we're not gonna you know celebrate this one too long because you know we got we got bigger bigger goals and you know bigger things to accomplish. But you know this is something that we can really really soak in. Um, really just, you know, my teammates really just find me when I'm open, um, you know, when I got good post position and, you know, I'm able to really try to pass the ball out of the post too. So, um, you know, Steph had a good, couple good cuts, Tristan, um, you know, everyone really. So, you know, I just, just really just letting the game come to me and, you know, my, my teammates were finding me for, you know, open dunks and open around the rim. Uh, that was a crazy experience, especially coming from high school. I didn't. I wasn't able to do it, so to be able to do it with the group of guys that we have here is special for sure. Steph, did you feel like this your overall game today might have been your best so far as the UConn on both sides of the ball, you know, holding Kadari in check pretty much, and obviously offensively having a very good game? Uh, yeah, I think I think I did a good job of kind of limiting him, and I feel like my teammates found me in, in great spots today, so I feel like all around I, I had a great game and probably one of the best of the season, so. And Coach said that despite winning the national championship, you don't really think we squared your season. It's kind of a thorn in your side. Did you guys feel like that? Did you kind of, you know, uh, push that idea, sell that idea on you guys early on? And we still have unfinished business. We didn't, you know, dominate the league. Um. Can you say that again? Sorry, I, was, I, was, I, was, I, I didn't get the first part. My bad. The coach said that not winning the league is a kind of thorn in your side even though you've won the national championship. So I'm wondering if that's the way you guys have felt about this goal all year, that even though you're in defending national championship, oh, okay, got it. Right, you have this unfinished Yeah, we feel like it's, it's hard to win the um, Big East and the national championship. You know, you just got to – if you get hot at a certain time, you know, winning six games in a row, I mean, it's difficult. Obviously, only one team can do it. But we feel like it's hard to be consistent over a 20-game, you know, stretch and, and be able to – our last opponents that study you day in and day out. So we feel like this is um, maybe not a bigger accomplishment, but it's right up there with um, the national championship from last year. Uh, I wouldn't say it's like because I feel like I'm not that emotional type of guy. So I mean, it was it was a it was a cool experience. You know, have my parents here winning the winning the you know, conference and everything. But, you know, like like, like us, we, we celebrate for uh, after we get out of the locker room or after we get in the locker room, we celebrate then. And then, you know, tomorrow we'll be back at work and um, trying to finish out the conference well the last two games. And then, you know, we still want uh, the tournament championship and we're still looking for the national championship too. So um, uh, we're just waiting on those days to come. Yeah, just um, congratulate me for what I've done here so far. Uh, tell me that we're not finished, and um, yeah, pretty much stuff like that. Steph, you put up uh, several highlight dunks today. Can you, can you go to the, the one in the second half where you went behind your back and then across the guy over and then went down the lane and then you just erupted in a, in a huge smile? Can you talk about what, what it means to, to do that and, and what kind of a statement you make from it? Um, you know, just out there having fun, really, just. You know, the crowd giving us a lot of energy and, you know, just being able to play with confidence and all my teammates have my back. So, you know, they trust me to make plays like that. So, I mean, to do it here with a car like that is just super fun. You talk about the tomahawk, tomahawk dunks? Or is there a name for that dunk in particular? Uh, <laughs> nah, I ain't got no name for that. <laughs> Donovan, you, you look like you're in a good spot right now. You look fluid out there. Do you feel as well as you have in a while? Yeah, I mean, it's like the best I've really ever felt, um, you know, getting my weight down, my feet feeling 100% still, and, you know, my, just everything is, you know, just starting to come along, you know, at the right time, and um, really just, you know, just really getting comfortable with my teammates out there. Everyone's just, you know, really finding, 
you know, every like just putting everything together and, um, you know, and that's just the, the most important thing right now is making sure we stay consistent, making sure everything's sharp offensively, defensively, and everyone's you know, really connected because, you know, now we're at, the, we're at the point where, you know, after these next two games, it's winner go home. So, um, you know, we really just got to be, you know, a strong group and finish off the season strong and, um, you know, just I just got to keep working. Can you describe the improvement of this team between the game in <coughs> Yeah, I mean, I feel like our defense has really just, you know, went to the next level. Um, you know, coaches really emphasized, you know, just trying to work on our defense and, you know, just trying to really guard the ball at a high level, rebound the ball at a high level. Um, you know, obviously our offense has, you know, been consistently, you know, well for the, you know, the whole season. But, you know, we really just had to find that toughness on defense and really just the toughness on the backboard. And, you know, I feel like that's what really changed, you know, that since the beginning of the season. Guys, I know all you guys talked about this was just the start, first of three. Where's the confidence level of this team, and how confident are you this wasn't the biggest highlight of the season? I mean, I have a lot of confidence in this team, a lot of confidence, you know, in the staff and, you know, this program. Um, you know, we're a bunch of special guys who, you know, put a lot of work in every day to, you know, try to su succeed high things. And, um, you know, but, you know, it's just going to come one game at a time. We can't get too, you know, far ahead of ourselves. You know, we got a game on Wednesday that we got to worry about, um, you know, so we're really not trying to, you know, like just move by this because obviously it's a good accomplishment but you know we really can't think too far ahead because you know we got one game at a time yeah i mean you know obviously we've we've talked about it you know for a while but um you know we just really gotta you know win the games and you know win win out just to you know be able to do it um obviously you know we could say Obviously, you know, we want to go play Brooklyn, Boston, but, you know, you got to go out there on the floor and win games and execute and, you know, to put yourself in that position. And, you know, we just got to finish these next two games off and we'll be good. Could Donovan and Steph, did, did it feel like it could have possibly been your final home games? No, nah, I mean, I, I'm not worried about anything, you know, after this season. Um, you know, I'm just worried about the next day, the next practice, next game. And, um, you know, I'm just going to just keep trying to get better every day. I feel like we were just more focused and, you know, ready. We had to be out there uh, every game. You can't take any game for granted. Just go out there and play every game like it's your last. And I feel like uh, after the Creighton game, it just uh, – we really locked in and, and and noticed that we had to play every game at our at our best because people are gunning for us and um, we're everybody's Super Bowl. So uh, we got to be prepared to play. Tristan, as a guy who said, hey, I'm not too emotional, on the flip side, your coach is somebody who rides his emotions big time and he's mm -hmm. been telling us kind of all week – Yeah, I mean, he helps me a lot because you know sometimes I'm I'm too like relaxed, you know, like kind of lazy or something like that. So um, he he always brings energy and helps my energy every day. So um, he's he's done a great job. He's done an unbelievable job with me and helping me out. He helps me every day and he pushes me every day. So uh, can't thank him enough for that. Uh, I didn't see. I haven't seen him cry. Uh, maybe like I, a Drew little tear out. or something when Drew came out. But besides that, I haven't seen him cry. Appreciate it.